was saddened to see the news flash about the passing away of Commander Fidel Castro. Not just because he was a very eminent international personality, a great friend of India, but also because when I visited uh, Cuba in the last week of October 2013, and departing from standard protocol of the Cuban government, I was given the opportunity to meet uh, Fidel Castro. My wife and I spent about half an hour with him, uh, Mrs. Castro, and uh, their son. And it was uh, a very, very interesting meeting. There are two, three things uh, which I vividly recall, the impressions that I got from that meeting. One, that he was aware of what was happening at down to every detail, he was aware of what was happening on the international scene. The second part was his great affection for India. It came through in various ways. Uh, he showed uh, my wife and me a collection of photographs that had been taken during his visit to India. He came here last in, uh, at the time of Northern uh, Conference in March 1983. So all in all, I mean, he had, I think, great affection for India. And that came through in the discussions uh, with uh, the Cuban government during my visit, in the discussions with uh, President Ruel Castro, whom I had an opportunity very recently during the non-aligned meeting in uh, Venezuela uh, two months back, to meet and talk at great length. In fact. Uh, so our talk went on for so long that uh, his uh, some other visitors had to wait. So uh, I think we have lost uh, a friend, a genuine friend of India, a great personality on the world stage, uh, of a, a person totally unique in every sense of the word. May God bless him.